Uh, hi and welcome. Uh, I hope you are good. Uh, in this video, I'll talk about how to extract time information from a timestamp uh, or a date time column using pandas. Now, uh, let's start with uh, importing pandas. So just to show what version of pandas I am using. So after importing import pandas as pd, I'll just do pd dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore. So this will tell us uh, which version of uh, pandas I am using. So my version is 0.25, uh, 0.25, uh, 0.1. Your could be higher than this in case you are watching this in the future. So so let's take a scenario and see uh, see what I'm talking about, what question I'm trying to solve here to extract time from timestamp. Uh, so I have created a dummy data set, uh, dummy data frame, and it has a column called timestamp. Uh, so this timestamp has date information, for example, 2017-10-01, as well as time information, uh, like 15, 23 25 this is in 24 hours format so uh, so this is our data frame and it has a column called timestamp now the objective is to extract the time information out of this uh, out of this timestamp so in our in the first row we have 15 23 25 so i want to extract this and put it in a separate column now i am adding it as a separate column you might not need to add it as a separate column but just so that we can compare uh, what we extracted uh, i am putting it in as a as an additional column here now how do we do this now there are two methods uh, uh, method one that i'll talk about is using dot dt dot time uh, method uh, using the dot dt accessor and then that dot time uh, method and the other one other method is using dot dt dot strip time so let's start with uh, using the uh, let me explain how to do is do it using using um, uh, dot dt dot time so so before before doing this let's see how the what is the uh, data type of this df okay so we have this df if we do dot df uh, df dot info it's an object now the first thing we need to do uh, while using uh, dot dt dot time is to convert this uh, timestamp from object to a date time object so to do that all we need to do is uh, we need to use uh, pd dot to date time so uh, our column is timestamp we can just rewrite that particular column df just copy this equal to pd dot to date i'll just zoom in a bit date time okay and if i do df dot info Okay, now you can see the date timestamp column is date time 64 earlier it was object now uh, anytime when you export the data from a csv or an excel or, or from anywhere the first thing you need to do uh, with the date time column is to convert it into a date time object using this uh, this line of code otherwise whatever we are going to do next won't work if we had not done this it would uh, it would give an uh, give an error so now our dot time our timestamp is in the require format to extract time from here not date time all we need to do is we call we take out that particular column dot we use the dot dt accessor then dot time so we have extracted the time information here so let's see what our data frame is so 15 23 25 this is the first row and uh, 08 02 36 0 to 0 8 0 to 36 this is our for last row so let's let's add whatever information we have extracted as a column called time so let's call it time and let's do it again and df okay so we have extracted the time as information and we have added it as an additional column to our existing data frame now this is the method one uh, dot using dot dt dot time uh, method and uh, personally i use this most of the time but there is another method it is more generalized and it gives you more options to extract data and the time in in different formats 
uh, that you that you might want to use so so let's see what it is so this is method number two let me uh, recreate the data frame again so this is the same data frame and again the first thing we need to do is convert the uh, timestamp into uh, from from object or from a character string into a daytime object so let me do it quickly so we have timestamp time underscore stamp to pd dot to date time so this will convert the i'll run this this will convert the uh, timestamp column into a date time object so now now coming on to uh, using the strip time method function uh, method in in, uh, in, dot, in in dot dt attribute okay just a connection dot time is uh, is uh, is an attribute it's not a, it's not a method here so let's let's use the strip time so to, to use the strip time uh, there is something called directive I, i'll take you to the actual website where uh, other than these there are other directives as well so uh, what this directive tells is basically this is a format uh, in which we want our output to be so dot for example if we write percentage h it will extract the hour information in 24 hour clock that is from 00 to 23 or uh, yeah, if if we write uh, percentage i it will be uh, 24 20, sorry 12 hour clock uh, so the hours will be extracted from 0 1 till 12 similarly if you want minutes then uh, then it will be uh, percentage m if you want seconds it will be percentage s and so on so our right now our format is uh, the the actual format that we were using that is uh, uh, hour minutes and seconds to do so to do, do to do that what we need to do is we use dt dot dd time stamp dot dt dot strf time and here we write our directives in whatever format so right now i am extracting percentage h percentage m percentage s uh, separated by hyphen so we have percentage h percentage m percentage s capital s so let's see what it extracts it's, it gives an error because this is df okay so this is now extracted as as, as a timestamp now let, let's if we, if we want to add it into our column into our data frame so df sorry time so this is basically 24 hour clock uh, so whatever earlier we were looking it's a 24 hour clock so df so we have extracted time now let's look at another example this is why we are uh, we are using strip time that we want uh, more uh, we want we want if we want to generalize our output more and we want it in a different format uh, rather than the the actual default format which we give, get from dot dt dot time attribute so to do that let's say now i want to extract the our information in 12 hour clock rather than the 24 hour clock so for example here we have 15 then we have 19 these are all 24 hour clock let's say i want to extract it in 12 hours or 12 hour clock so to do that we just need to replace percentage h with percentage i so let's take an example df time stamp dot dt dot strf time percentage i percentage m percentage s okay now you can see the first entry that is extracted is 03 earlier it was 15 so, so this, uh, and the if we look at the third row it was earlier 19 now it's 7 so so let's add it as an additional column so that we can compare it more so df it's a time i'm i'm just putting it underscore 12 so that it refer, it refers to 12 hour clock so i'll just copy paste to same time 
df okay so now you can see we earlier we extracted time which was in 24 hour clock uh, now we extracted the same time which is in 12 hour clock if we look at the second last one it is 18 11 49 uh, so in that was in 24 hour clock and in 12 hour clock it's 06 11 49 so this is one another example let's take another example here uh, let's say i want to extract the minute and second information i don't want to extract the hour information from our uh, timestamp so to do that we just need to remove the percentage i or percentage h as, as it was there earlier and we just need to keep percentage m and percentage s so I'll, I'll let me just copy the data i'll copy paste and instead of percentage i i just do percentage m percentage s okay so this is how it got extracted now one more thing uh see uh, most of the places i have uh, uh written uh hyphen in instead of colon which was uh, i think wrong we i we just need to put it in colon because time is always in in colon so i'll just correct it here as well here as well and then here also okay so this is how actual times time looks like this one is uh, this one as well it's colon not uh hyphen because hyphen generally comes in in date uh, but it's just a string like we if you want some other uh, separation between them if you just want to let's say keep space not a colon you just need to write it like this so but i'll keep it colon and let's add this also in the data frame so let's call it minute underscore second df okay so we have extracted minute and second information so this is uh, all the different methods uh, actually there are other methods as well but uh, the one the two which i personally use uh, more are these two methods and in these two also the first one the dot dt dot time attribute is the one which which uh, i tend to use more so let's summarize uh, what we have done so whatever let's say whatever data frame you have uh, first convert convert uh, date time column or basically convert time stamp column into date time object or date time 64 object second uh, the first method is that is method one or i'll just write it down so let's say whatever column we have so instead uh, so either it's a uh, df dot uh, timestamp or it's uh, it's basically a series so either you dot uh, so I'll, I'll i'll make it more generalizable so let's say that particular series dot dt dot time so this is method number one method number two is we use series dot dt dot strf time and here you give you give different directives for example the first one percentage the, the first one which i showed percentage h colon percentage m percentage s and these things should be in quotes then second one which i used series dot dt dot strf time percentage i percentage m percentage s so this is 24 hour clock this is 12 hour clock and in case you want to extract the only the minute and second information we just give it 
series dot dt dot strf time percentage m colon percentage s okay so this is the summary of uh, everything what there that we uh, did today and uh, uh, so so i hope it was useful and uh, thank you and take care